This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Hey guys, Big Paul here today. We are going to talk about metformin as a fat loss drug. I don't hear of anybody in the bodybuilding community talking about this. Metformin has some strong effects on leptin and ghrelin and appetite suppression, also increases insulin sensitivity and nutrient partitioning, and seems to be perfectly made for bodybuilding, contest prep, and for improving body composition. We're gonna dig into it in just one second. All right, so quickly, to, before we dig too far into this, um, we need to understand how leptin and ghrelin work in the body. Um, and I'm gonna talk about both and how metformin has an effect on, on both of those hormones. Leptin uh, suppresses hunger. It's a hormone released by your fat cells as you get fatter. Um, also, as you're get by your stomach, as you get uh, full, fuller, and it tells your body, hey, I'm full, I don't need any more food. Um, it, it has a feedback loop with the hypothalamus and thus decreases hunger. Ghrelin is the exact opposite of leptin. Uh, ghrelin signals to your body that you're hungry. As you get leaner, and you know this from contest prep, as you get leaner, as your body fat decreases your body produces more ghrelin less leptin and your hunger starts to increase um, it also increases as your uh, blood sugar drops so anybody who's ever gone hypo before you get this sudden rush of hunger you have to eat you got to eat some sugar get some candy down right now it, it is like uncontrollable you're you um, this is the problem like when guys use too much insulin one of the issues they run into is they just end up binging on a bunch of candy or drinking a bunch of fruit juice shit like that or just eating a bunch of garbage uh, from when they're when they get hypoglycemic um, that is ghrelin at work now the two function together they're always present in your body so it's a balance of the both uh, one uh, at least from what I understand you can, somebody can correct me on, on that if I'm wrong but as your body has a, the balance tilts towards the favor of ghrelin, you become more hungry. And as it tilts towards leptin, you become less hungry. So how does metformin play into all this? And, and how can we leverage metformin for fat loss? So metformin is, metformin is a cool ass drug. I, I, I know some people get scared by it. Other people don't, don't use it. They say it's unnecessary, but it does a lot of things besides um, increasing insulin sensitivity. That's, that's the one primary thing that people know of. I, obviously better insulin sensitivity means better nutrient partitioning. Uh, you, you put the carbohydrates where they're supposed to be. Um, you, your body need, requires less insulin, uh, to do so. So it makes everything more efficient. But on top of that, what, what, uh, metformin does, that's very interesting with fat loss is it seems to suppress appetite strongly. I noticed this just from my own observation from taking it in the past, in past contest prep. So I did some digging into why, um, and I have been using it on this contest prep. My last contest prep, I used it for, until I got about halfway, two thirds of the way through. Um, and then I'm like, man, my, my blood sugar started running a little low and I'm like, I don't think I need really need this anymore. So I dropped it. And then my hunger just went through the roof almost immediately. Um, it, it was, it was like an overnight type of thing. So there's a whole bunch of studies, uh, out there on, on metformin and its effects on ghrelin and leptin. So what I found when I looked into it, uh, there, there was some, there was some broad studies where they gave higher dose metformin, a thousand milligrams plus to a group of people and measured their desire to, I think they gave them sandwich squares and they would see how many sandwich squares they would eat. They just tell them to eat until they're full. And over a period of time that the high dose metformin um, group ate less than the control group and they ate less than they did uh, um, originally. So 
what seems to be happening, one of the, one of the components, and there's multiple factors that play in here, uh, w one thing that we know is that over time, as people get fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter, in theory, um, your body self-regulates and should stop you from eating as you get fatter because your, your leptin increases, your ghrelin goes down, and you should be in a state where, where you, your body will self-regulate, you get less hungry, you eat less as you get fatter. But we know now that that gets broken. Uh, I don't think people weren't designed to eat the amounts of highly processed foods that we, we eat now and in the quantities that we eat them. And what seems to happen over a period of time is that as your body just keeps producing more and more and more and more leptin, that the, uh, the receptors become broken. The leptin uh, receptors become broken in the hypothalamus uh, and your body does not receive that signal that you are not hungry anymore. Uh, or, so your <laughs> ghrelin just takes over uh, because we know that it's the balance of ghrelin and leptin, even though leptin may be higher in your high, have a higher presence in your body when you're obese, um, what ends up happening is those leptin receptors uh, become broken. Metformin, which is what it was really cool about metformin, seems to resensitize the leptin receptors and makes your body more receptive to leptin. So less leptin makes you less hungry so it whereas before that leptin wasn't making you wasn't suppressing hunger now with metformin it seems to fix that broken component with the broken uh leptin receptors and you suppress hunger as a result on top of that metformin also seems to suppress ghrelin production through ampk so you, you get the double whammy here. You're more sensitive to leptin and it suppresses ghrelin. Um, and then you couple that with having better insulin sensitivity. So when you do eat carbohydrates or you eat nutrients, they are being stored properly. Your body makes less insulin. You know, it's just this whole cascade of things that set you up to have a better body composition. Why no one's talking about this is fucking beyond me. It, it seems to me that Matt Foreman makes the perfect contest prep dieting drug. I, I have experienced it firsthand. I, my body composition improves dramatically when I incorporate metformin into my, into my routine. Now, I will say this. It doesn't seem to happen on lower doses at 500 milligrams. You have to work up to 1,000. One of the issues with metformin that people run into is metformin can make you sick when you first start taking it. You get gastric distress, you might get diarrhea. Um, it does upset your stomach. It does seem to have some impact on, on your gut, gut, gut biome. Actually, they say it fixes things, um, but it takes time to fix things. That's why you get sick initially when you take metformin. But so what you have to do, you have to get through that, that initial phase of being sick with metformin. You usually start off with a low dose, like 250 milligrams, maybe 500 milligrams before bed, and you slowly work your way up. So somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 milligrams from what I've anecdotally observed seems to be the most effective at suppressing appetite and keeping body composition in check. I'm currently taking 1,000 milligrams of it. I have noticed that during contest prep, and maybe I need to cut the berberine back, um, uh, my, my, um, my blood sugars have been running a lot lower, like borderline hypo sometimes. So and it's just something to be mindful of, but it is a strong appetite suppressant. I, I can tell you, last year, firsthand experience, when I dropped it on my contest prep, my appetite went through the fucking roof. Up until then, I was fine. This year, I've had, you know, this past week or so, I am three weeks out from my show right now. I've had some cravings, but nothing crazy like I have had in the past. So a lot of times when people get fat, it's not, you know, you, they always say you use some willpower, eat less, um, and that's easier said than done. Systems in the body may be broken. Um, and maybe these people, uh, that, that can't stop eating, it's, you know, I, I know, I know there is a bit of a weak w willpower into it, but, but some of it's hormonal too. 
Uh, if your body is not receiving the signals from leptin that you should stop eating and then hunger just takes over, you get in that, you've been in that uncontrollable phase before when you get so hungry you just can't help yourself. All of us have lost our mind on dieting and that is when ghrelin just greatly overta overtakes uh, leptin. We've been there before, you know what that feels like, but imagine feeling like that all the time, even when you're obese. So I, I speculate that some people, they get severely obese, that that entire system is broken. It's just, everything's broken. Uh, ghrelin, leptin, insulin sensitivity, insulin production is probably high. It's just an entire cascade of broken events that lead to obesity. Um, so, you know, and I, I get a lot of fat loss uh, lifestyle people that come to me that want to just lose body fat. And um, I've seen it. Uh, you know, we, we put we put people on, you know, I, I tell them to talk to their doctor, um, talk talk to your doctor about getting on metformin. And I, I know dudes that, you know, I have, you know, recently talked to a guy and helped a guy out, out at my gym that got on metformin and he saw an immediate, within weeks, improvement in body composition. So be open-minded about it. Uh, this is something I'm surprised no one else has brought up. Metformin for contest prep and for fat loss. Hell, use it year-round. I use it year-round. I, I, I think it's a, a, a miracle drug. I know people talking about it suppressing IGF-1. Um, I think when you're taking enough exogenous insulin in GH, you counteract that anyway. I've never noticed that my IGF-1 level, in fact, my IGF-1 levels have been high when I, when I get tested, so I don't think it has that strong of an effect. Maybe if you're natural, it does. Another added benefit of metformin, it's, it, and I don't think they entirely understand the mechanisms of it. Maybe it's the suppressed IGF-1, but studies have shown that people that take metformin have lower incidences of cancer. It seems to be protective against cancers. So something else to think about. All right, guys, hopefully you found this helpful. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you. For coaching or consultations, head over to www.anabolicbodybuilding.com to book your spot today. I can help you with optimizing hormones, fat loss, muscle gain, physique, athletic performance, nutrition, and health. For more information, shoot me an email at bigp3rd at gmail.com.